Hi, this is Glenn Kinsler with 2B Solutions, and today we'll be talking about tracking potential clients in 2B Law. First, let's look at a few reasons why you would want to track potential, potential clients in the 2B Law system. First, it helps to standardize and centralize all this data into one place, and that makes it very easy for you to prioritize really zero in on the potential clients that are a good fit for you and your firm, and of course disqualify any that are not. It also helps you track what works and what doesn't work in terms of any marketing or advertising efforts that you have going on. It also helps you track referrals down to the individual level. Now, At the end of the day, this is about landing more clients, bringing more clients into the firm um, <clears throat> for future work. So let's see how we can do this in 2B Law. So when I first opened 2B Law, I presented with my dashboard of individual uh, clients and potential clients that are assigned to me. And one of my dashboard items is a breakdown of potential clients by source. Now if I go into my legal tab here and look at the potential client records that are making up this chart, I'll see that I have five potential clients assigned to me. Notice this view here is my open potential client. But if I were a managing partner or perhaps a firm administrator, uh, I might be more interested in, say, all potential clients across the firm. Here I can see who's bringing in the most, uh, the estimated value of them, are we following up with these uh, individuals, where are they coming from, when were they created, and so forth. But let me go back to my open potential clients. Open meaning that they're, they're still uh, in the process of being evaluated. Uh, and we'll open up this record here. So now this is the potential client record. Over here on the left, I've got uh, basic contact information for the individual. On the right, I've got some more information, including employer, spouse if needed, preferred contact methods, and so on. Here in the middle, I've got a running total of activities uh, with this potential client, when the record was first created. And I'm also tracking a couple of phone calls here related to this as well. If I wanted to add a new phone call record, I could very quickly click on the Add Phone Call and enter in some uh, details uh, about this. I can even indicate that I left a voicemail if necessary. Up at the top, I've got some additional fields, including uh, lead source. This is a drop-down or an option set that has some uh, pre-formatted options in here. All of this can be customized, I should mention. And also an out-of-the-box uh, rating field as well, which is hot, warm, cold, which works for most people, but some people may have something uh, a bit more elaborate. But this helps you really prioritize which potential clients you want to focus your time on. As I scroll down a little further, I've got more information about the case or matter itself. I've got an estimated fee, I've got a brief synopsis of what the matter is regarding, and also um, uh, the referral as well. I'm, refer, I'm, I'm, I'm recording that Joe Barnes made this referral to us, and I can track over time how many referrals we get from individuals. And of course, this is very helpful for any law firm going forward to really know uh, where their matters and potential clients are coming from. So let's say that uh, Ms. Alice would like for us to go ahead and represent her in this matter. Here at the very top, I can convert this potential, potential client into a legal case or matter. And when I click this button, all the, this information will go into the matter record. We'll discuss that in more detail in another video. Thank you very much.